Member for Port Moody, Coquitlam. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I have the honour to present the report of the Special Committee to review the Freedom of Information and Protection of Privacy Act for the third session of the 42nd Parliament, entitled FIPA for the Future, and a copy of which has been de deposited with the Office of the Clerk, and I move that the report be taken as read and received. Members, the question is that the report be taken as read and received. All those in favour indicate aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Member? Mr. Speaker, I ask uh, for leave of the House to move a motion to adopt the report. Is leave granted? Aye. Proceed. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. In moving adoption of the report, I would like to make a few brief comments. The Freedom of Information and Protection of Privacy Act makes public bodies more accountable to the public and protects the personal privacy of British Columbians. It provides a right to access certain records and personal information held by public bodies, outlines rules for collecting, using and disclosing personal information in the public sector, and provides for independent review and oversight. The Committee's report, FIPA for the Future, makes 34 recommendations aimed at ensuring the Act remains both strong and relevant today and well into the coming years. It also recognizes the fundamental importance of citizens' access to public records and their right to privacy, both pillars of our democratic system. A key theme in the report is a call for a cultural shift within public bodies to, toward increased transparency and openness. This includes proactively releasing all records unless there is a defensible ground for withholding them. As we move towards this culture of transparency, the report includes several actions that can be taken immediately to improve the effectiveness of the freedom of information system. The Act's provision, privacy provisions, must also keep up with the changing world, and in particular with emerging technologies. These technologies pose enormous opportunities for improved efficiencies and service delivery, but they also need to protect the personal information of British Columbians. Finally, the report recommends strengthening the authorities of the Information and Privacy Commissioner, who needs to be able to effectively investigate concerns and advocate for a stronger access to information and protection of privacy re regime. Taken together, it is the Committee's hope that its recommendations will promote increased trust in our public institutions. And I would like to take the time to express the Committee's sincere appreciation for everyone who took the time to provide us with input. I would also like to thank all Committee members for their commitment and contributions to our robust debates throughout this process. In particular, I would like to recognize Deputy Chair Member for Nechaco Lakes for his support and assistance. As members of, the, of this House are no doubt aware, there is also considerable amount of, there's also a considerable amount of work behind the scenes to support a committee, and on behalf of the committee, I would like to acknowledge and extend our appreciation to the, to the Legislative Assembly staff. From the Parliamentary Committee's office, thank you to Jen Jennifer Errol, Karen Riar, Daryl Hall, Jesse Gordon, Mary Newell, Emma Curtis from IC, thank you to Darren Parfit, and from Hansard Services, thank you to Amanda Heffelfinger, Billy Young, and the entire Hansard Broadcasting, Transcribing, and Publishing teams. Thank you, Honourable Speaker.